return to the program for this year's final installment of a little segment we call Is It Red? Hey. If you've never joined us before, uh, Dr. Ryan Berglund, uh, for many years now, has joined us occasionally. He's a surgical urologist with the Cleveland Clinic, and it seems to be a great public service that he does when he joins us here because there are no small amount of guys throughout Northeast Ohio who have real weird stuff going on with their junk. And so he comes to help. And so Friday, that will be his final appearance this year. So avail yourself of his wisdom if you if you fit that description. Uh, if something uh, is dripping, <laughs> if something is indeed red uh, down there, and uh, listen, it's a good way, you know, a lot of times he will say, he'll, he'll kind of give you the, the broad strokes, if you pardon the pun, but then he'll say, hey, you should really get that checked out, blah, blah, blah. And other times he'll go, I won't worry about it. Saves people a lot of time. Uh, we've heard from countless people over the years who said, Dr. Berglund might have saved my life. Now, you might be somebody who can easily answer the question, is it red, with no, absolutely not. It remains uh, flesh color. Uh, then you can just uh, you can just join along, and you can listen to people that make you feel good that you're not them. So that'll be Friday, for one last time in 2023. Cavaliers are not having an easy time out there in the basketball world. Uh, they took a couple of losses. I guess they beat the Warriors. They got a they, big win last night. That yeah. was a, that, they needed that. Lost uh, to the Pacers in Indiana. I believe that was the first time they beat the Warriors in the regular season since the Christmas game in 2016. There you go. I think it was also their first home win since the like in a week, wasn't it? Uh, well, yeah, they. I think it was their first. Maybe they they had been winning on the road. Yeah, yeah. Not I think that's their first home. home win of the season. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Anyway. Uh, they're off tonight, or are they? Uh, yes, they are off tonight. I was looking a week ahead, mm -hmm. and they'll play Wednesday night against the Oklahoma City Thunder in Oklahoma City. And boy, think about that post game. All the trouble you can get into in Oklahoma City. A lot. And then, uh, well, I've never been, but uh, you guys have. I'm, yeah. I defer to your judgment. I'm sure it's a fine town. Boy, we had a lot of freaked out coworkers here who had children in the Medina school system this morning because there was a series of bomb threats that ended up being uh, false. But uh, Medina County had several schools this morning that all got simultaneous bomb threats. And so uh, a whole lot of people that we work with here have kids in those schools and we're freaking out. And I think most people, you, you, you're signed up for like a text program through your kid's school. I know we have it. We get constant emails, things like that. But you'll get alerts. This is where we are now. You have to be signed up for an alert to let you know if uh, there's something going on at the school. Bomb threat, active shooter, whatever it is. I think they determined uh, relatively quickly that the threats weren't credible. Boy, you got to think maybe it was just a kid who was enjoying a victory Monday too much and didn't want to go to school. Somebody who did, you, you know, you didn't like school bills, young man. Oh, yeah. Did you ever think about uh, calling it a bomb threat? No, because I would just not go to school. Yeah. <laughs> like, you just don't go. Mm -hmm. Like, you didn't, like, they, they, there wasn't much they could do. They could tell you that you'd have a suspension or a detention, and then you just don't go to that either. Mm -hmm. Like, they don't have Solid as much advice. power as you think. Yeah, and after a while, you get expelled. Mm -hmm. that was a deep, yeah, and then deep, deep, mission deep. accomplished. Mission, then what do you do? But you got to do something. Uh, your mom's going to be your teacher. But, Bill, didn't you get truancy? I, no. How? I don't know. I just didn't go. But truancy, also, truancy also, is all preamble to getting expelled, but also, also you no, just call, not. Also, but, you could just call and be like, uh, this is Jim Squire. Bill Squire will not be at school today. Thank you very much. Oh my. <laughs> no, I was gonna say he <laughs> nailed it. Sounds just like me. I was gonna say if, if he does that, then maybe because my brother he was a truant kid, and I remember we had to go to like he had to go to court because he he wasn't allowed to miss school. He missed so many days that court. Like, yeah, yes, you can get a in a lot kid. of trouble, but truancy usually you have to get picked up for on the street. Like a cop has to catch you outside of school no. in order to get truancy. Leaning That's up against a, a wall, smoking a cigarette. Are you sure, Cody? Swinging sure. your switchblade comb. 
Yeah, my greasing your hair back. My brother missed so many days. I don't. I don't know if the school reports to. I mean, the, I would the just forge notes. Agency, like or, that's or all. It was so easy because they gave us a, uh, like a notebook where the teachers could sign and say, and you just show that to your teacher, and they'd be like, "Where are you come from?" I go, uh, "Art class," and I just scribble something on there, and they're like, "Okay." Or just say, coming from the office, I had something. There's so many kids in the school, they didn't care. Like, there yeah. wasn't, it was pretty easy to get away with missing class. I guess that wasn't my experience in Catholic school, but that's different than, uh, I, I, I guess I didn't realize that truancy was, became a legal thing. Yeah, it was, yeah that, it's that's legal. Point. Well, because when my parents were going through a divorce, I was skipping a lot of school. And... We had what are called captain's beds. I don't know if you guys know what those are, but I they're do the, not. the beds that have the drawers underneath of them. Yeah. So there's oh, like a trundle bed with a thing under. Is that what it it's is? It's not. It doesn't well, pull out. It's uh, just trundle drawers. bed is like a bed hidden under a bed. Gotcha. So it's okay. a bed that has a big giant boxy frame that has drawers underneath of it, mm -hmm. and there's a space between where the drawers are because they don't go the full length of the bed. Yeah. So I would get underneath where the drawers end and where the wall was, and I would hide from my dad in the mornings because mm -hmm. I was so not in a good place. My parents were getting yeah. divorced. My high school sweetheart and I broke up. So I'd hide from him because he worked third shift. What was your high school sweetheart's name? His name was Chris. Mm -hmm. Why? Just curious. And then, yeah. uh, and then after my dad went to sleep because he thought I was at school, I would walk to my mom's house. And both my parents had so much guilt that neither, well, my dad didn't know, but my mom, like, wouldn't call me in or anything. But I was missing so much school that they were like, you're going to get a truancy charge, which I thought was getting caught no. by a cop walking from one to the other. How Now, this was a long time ago. So I, I was either in eighth grade or just started high school because my brother, the only time me and my brother were in the same school was when I was a freshman, he was a senior. And I can remember... I think he missed so many days that the school reported how many ab absences he had, and they report to whatever governing body. I don't know if it was the school district or the state of Ohio or whatever, and he had to go to court for it. So this says, I have it pulled up. It says, student is true in Ohio law if they meet or exceed one of three markers for unexcused absence, 30 consecutive hours out of school, 42 hours in a month, or 72 hours in the school year. But that's not that much time. Well, but also, what? so what is ultimately, what are you looking at when you go to court? You can get a fine, uh, like a, this says $1,000 fine or up to 180 days in jail. For the parent, if they're under 18, for the kid, if they're over 18. Yeah. Yeah, I would, like I said, I would just forge notes and they wouldn't check on anything. I just wasn't going for a while. I almost didn't graduate because I had missed so many days my senior year. Huh. Yeah. Well, I liked school. I liked school, too, but I was just And I was sad. terrified of my parents. I so. should have. I just didn't learn nothing. So we all. <laughs> he didn't <laughs> learn nothing. I didn't learn nothing. Right there. There nothing. you go. That's right. He didn't learn nothing. Sh I f I, they said showing up was half the battle. I was like, okay, I could do it half ass. I, mean, <laughs> I could do half the battle. Wait, they said showing up was half the battle? Yeah, they were like, yeah. That, uh, I remember when <laughs> we were like doing, talking about job searching, they were like, you will be surprised. The, the amount of people like, just don't show up for work. All you got to do is show up for work. I was like, all right, well, this is kind of like my job as a kid. I'll just show up and whatever happens, happens. You know, I ain't got to learn nothing. You said show up. And I would wow. never go. I would never go. Over the allotted, like what you can miss, like ten days a semester or something like that. I think it's like a year. Whatever it was, a I would year. go to the max amount hmm. all the time. Ten days. All right. See, I didn't like. Missing it's not school. a lot. I missed like thirteen and was in trouble. Okay, this goes by hours, which is so weird. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like, they, they don't. They can't throw you in jail, though. Yeah, like, this says. Yeah, you go to juvie or whatever. Huh. It says 38 hours. Right. It's juvie, not... No, it's juvie. Juvie. <laughs> juvie yeah. is what he calls it. Yeah. That's what he calls it. He's got more experience with it than I do. I don't yeah, have any. That sounds like juvie. A, a varsity Jew. Oh. 30, juvie. 38 hours, which is six days, unexcused in one month, or 65 hours, 10 days. This is excused or unexcused in a, in a year. It's only 10 days. Oh, well, there you go. Yeah. All right. That's crazy. That's not that many days. See, I didn't I like know, missing but school because it was like one a day a month. I yeah. didn't like makeup work or like I just didn't well, like. Well, that was the thing too is I just didn't do the I makeup work. I know you didn't. Like, I know. Like, I get it. Like I didn't like work or makeup work. It just, You're like, I'm just you, not going to do it. I'm not going to do it.
Alan, my sister forged so many of her friend's mom's signature that when the mom actually signed something, the school wouldn't accept it. <laughs> this isn't exactly. your signature. Yeah. <laughs> yes, it is. That's Betsy Williamson. That's like, me. Like my dad never. No, it's not. Your, your, your signature is big, loopy bubble letters. That's why I'd use my dad's signature because... My dad was never the one that had to sign anything. My dad was never the one that picked us up from school. My dad was never... Yeah, they couldn't and, and they, compare they, it to anything. Right. They didn't know anything about my dad. He was a ghost to them. So they'd just be like, well, these all match up. Yeah. Let me give you some money here. It's $1,000. You still got a couple of weeks on this. Once an hour. So plenty of chances to win a grand from the Buzzard Bookie. I hope you win. Good luck. This is your chance to bet with the Buzzard Bookie and win $1,000 now. Enter this nationwide keyword at WMMS.com. Check. That's check. Enter it now at WMMS.com. Now, the day that you would want to stay home from school is the day that they find out that your school's custodian has been contaminating the food at the school with bodily fluids. Oh, come on. And bleach. Ooh, Which ew. is worse, honestly. So he was contaminating it and then cleaning it up? This was in bleach. New Jersey. An elementary school janitor has got parents very, very upset, and kids too, 25-year-old dude. Giovanni Impelizzeri is uh, the school's custodian. I'm Italian. We love food. What can I say? Hey, what do you want from me? We I love like food. it That's everywhere. Why. Like, I literally love the food. That's <laughs> right. A little bit of my special sauce. If I, I put understand. my sausage in the gabagoop. <laughs> gabagoop. <laughs> Some are worried that their kids may have come into contact with bodily fluids. They're taking their children out of class to get them tested at a doctor. Alarming accusations against an Upper Deerfield Township school district custodian have parents disgusted and Kids wearing concerned. eyeliner. I covered I my mouth and started crying. I had no words. I mean, what can you say to a situation where somebody was doing those disgusting things in the school where your child's supposed to be safe. Charging documents from the Cumberland County Prosecutor's Office show 25-year-old Giovanni Impelizari is accused of contaminating school food and cooking utensils with bodily fluids and bleach, as well as committing obscene now, sexual the... acts in other parts of the school. <laughs> and according to investigators recording and posting... I think the bodily fluids consist of saliva. I think it was licking the silverware or something like that. Okay, But I think he also was... So, what I think, tests I think, are they going to do? I think they also accused like him STD tests. Putting food in himself. Oh. So that's probably something too. Videos of his oh. alleged actions online. It made me and then of course posting the videos online. He's looking for some clout. Yeah. Not disgusted. even on an OnlyFans. Nope. Like disgusted and weirded out. Like that was just nasty. That's a bodily fluids. That's that could make my child. That could kill my child. Some parents opted to take their children out of school and to the doctor for checkups. Others stood outside demanding answers from the school district superintendent. They're giving us more attitude than answers. School district officials refused to speak to us on camera, but did send an update saying they're fully cooperating with the state police investigation and are working with the health department to sanitize. I mean, there, bu there must be no vetting at all for custodians. They go, here's a job that pays nothing. Let's see who will take it. Uh, uh, like, I, the kid, I mean, 25-year-old dude, uh... Yeah, based on his eyes, I've been like, no, this guy's yeah. not the, 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 Dude's wearing like, guideline. Yeah. I mean, a couple weeks ago, we were talking about that custodian that was dressing like Pennywise and taking videos overnight. Yeah. And the school was freaking out because they're like, yeah, we we don't need this. Of course, in 2023, I guess, something like this, you go, well, at least my kids didn't get shot to death. I mean, that's the mm -hmm. that's what you just kind of weigh in your head now. You go, oh, he just licked the silverware? Oh, my God, that's terrible and gross. But thank God. There must be, I don't know what kind of vetting they're doing for these positions at schools. But, um. But also, there's, how would you know? Yeah, that like, this what, person what are you gonna gonna find, like, lick a spoon. I, I mean, know. he may have had some stuff online somewhere, but you don't know for sure that someone's a. That's not really a, a prior. Yeah, sticking food in themselves and being like, <laughs> can't wait to get this job so I can do more of that. Uh, they've placed him on administrative leave, which is the least they could probably do. Hey, Larry. How you doing, Alan? What up? Hey, man, I just wanted to ask a question about that. The missing so many days, you know? Yeah. All right, well, what if he got suspended for those days? Then what? 
are you, is that a rhetorical question or are you what do you mean if you get suspended no, for I got, the i got suspended 15 times when i was in junior high uh, well then you tell me how's that work I, my parents never got nothing uh, was it, I was just wondering now. Was like, what do you do on now. those days? Larry, what do you do on those days you skip? I didn't skip them. What would you get suspended I for? I couldn't go to school. Well, a lot of them was fighting. One was for carrying a knife. That got me a 10 day or Yeah. Were you like the badass but at the school? No, no. I was just... There was a lot going on in my life at that time. Like, Mary, my parents were getting a divorce, and I didn't take it very well. And sure. Did you ever you hide know, under the bed and then oh, jump out no, the window? Sorry. Excuse me. Crap happens. Uh, huh? Did you ever uh, hide under the bed and jump out the window? Yeah, I jumped out my window. Yeah, second story window. So I could second go story? Hang out. Larry's not screwing around, man. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, okay. Well, uh... So you got suspended a bunch of days, and, and okay. But that's different than skipping. I'm, well, but I'm saying it was still, you're still, like Mary was saying, you're still missing days. It said excused or unexcused. Excused, excused or unexcused. Or unexcused. I mean, a suspension uh, seems to be, in the eyes of the school, suspension is probably an excused absence, right? Oh, I, I mean, don't, they, I don't they have suspended you. I've so never you, been suspended. Oh, Mary's never been suspended. Oh, good. Oh. Oh. I had plenty of oh. okay. oh, good for you. I had right. lots of detentions and Saturdays and lunch detentions and all kinds of stuff like that, but I was never I never rose to the level of What is suspended. lunch detention? Where you have to go eat your lunch in a cold, quiet room by yourself. Yeah, you couldn't be with your friends. You can't eat it in the cafeteria. Yeah. Oh, really? No, That's socializing. Yeah. You get like Which a is week now of how I would detention. love to eat lunch yeah. <laughs> by yourself. Yeah. I've talked about that. We had what was called the SMR, the student oh, yeah. management room. Yeah. Where if you're not, you're in trouble for like that class period. So if you're being disruptive or your, your teacher don't want to deal with you, they send you to SMR. And all the desks are facing the same way. And the lady who ran it kept, I'm not joking, dude, she kept it like 55 degrees in this room. It was freezing cold. And you had to be actively working on something. You had to be doing homework or reading or doing something. Wow. All right. No, well, that's been, something, then. Never been suspended. Well, good for you. And yet, here you are. What? I don't know. <laughs> But Pound Cake, you know, I mean, with the he, suspension, Alan. Pound Cake <laughs> figured... Um, yeah, you're he, suspended starting December 14th. <laughs> Pound Cake so, figured showing up is half the battle, and he goes, I can do half. Yeah, but I'm that's not even the saying, though. Showing up is half the battle, isn't it? Uh, knowing is half the battle? Knowing is half the battle, yes. He doesn't even know the sayings, right? right. Knowing is half the battle. 99% of success is showing up is the phrase. He doesn't even know. He doesn't even know what he doesn't know. Well, if that's true, then that... That is true. Well, then I should know 99% of stuff then. I was there 99% of the time. You know, that's not what that means, right? <laughs> that's... That's how math works, Alan. You're not he gonna... has carried that half is good enough uh, mantra into his adult life. and um, But he's not getting picked up for truancy anymore. He's here all the time. I never He's did. become too reliable.